been avoiding this. And to be honest, I'm not even sure why. Well, I kind of know why. I think we all know why. Do you ever avoid things in life? Things that you know you want to do? Things that you know you need to do? Maybe it's a difficult conversation with a friend or a past lover or a lover. Or maybe it is knowing that it's time to end a relationship but you choose not to. Maybe it is showing up and filming a video and filming a vlog and sharing your truth and expressing yourself as you are as authentically as you possibly can be. Whatever, whenever, I avoid things in my life. My life gets pretty dark and I don't know if anyone else experiences this but Especially lately, the more in tune that I am with things, the more that I know that I'm avoiding things, the more that I know that I'm avoiding creating a video, the more that I know that I'm avoiding taking responsibility, like choosing and making a decision on what school I'm going to go to or where I'm going to live or all that kind of stuff. The more that I avoid those little decisions, the more that they begin to build up and, and almost cause a burden. It's almost like now all of those decisions that I've been avoiding, all the things that I've been avoiding, having conversations, talking about, um, making decisions around, they all just pile up into this gigantic big pile that I stick inside a backpack and throw on my shoulders and I'm carrying throughout the rest of my life. And so I know that when I do have that backpack on, I begin to feel more irritable. I begin to feel less connected. I begin to feel sad. And, and disheartened and a little bit lonely. And I know that, and, and I know what I need to do to take the backpack off, but it takes a couple of days for me to get there and take that backpack off. And this is part of it. And I wanted to start by apologizing, apologizing to you guys, because I made a commitment that I was gonna post weekly vlogs and I didn't hold that commitment. And I kept on convincing myself and telling myself stories about why I shouldn't or, and, or why I can go without posting a vlog because it's my choice and why the, all the, these stories that I got going on, I got lots going on, there's so much going on, I don't have the time. But in all reality, I did have the time. I spent a lot of time distracting myself with other things, meaningless things. I spent a lot of time busying myself and just avoiding doing the things that I know I needed to do. So here I am. This last couple of weeks was really hard. I started working and I was working from 6.30 to 2.30, and then I also have the other job that I do on top, the virtual admin job, which ended up being from three to four. And then after that, I'd also have the men's group, and then I'd have this, and then I'd have what I wanna do on the side as well. So I had lots going on, and then I had Lincoln in that mix as well. And there's lots going on, and, and with the new job being at 6.30 in the morning, I no longer have the time in the morning to work on editing the videos, to work on all the stuff that I wanna work on. It's pretty much like I wake up at four o'clock, I do a little bit of my routine, I get Lincoln dialed in, I get Lincoln's lunch dialed in, I get my lunch dialed in, I get everything I need dialed in for the day, supper's prepped, all that kind of stuff, breakfast is good to go because I gotta drop him off at his parents' house at six o'clock, so the morning moves quickly, especially with Lincoln, so I no longer had that time. and. And that was challenging and, and even now it's still challenging finding and navigating the time with, with working pretty much I would say two jobs and trying to run men's groups on the side and also trying to trying to do this. It's it's been crazy and been hard to navigate. And I wanted to share something and this is the thing I think I was avoiding and have been avoiding. When when I dropped Lincoln off, I dropped Lincoln off this past weekend, uh, last weekend. And I got to connect with Cass and it was crazy because I, I, I had feelings come up and I had a lot of feelings come up and this was wild for me because it hasn't been this way for quite some time. Like, yeah, there's sometimes some feelings, but they're not, they weren't as strong as this. And there was so much emotion when I saw her just rise and I didn't know what to do with it. It was almost like I felt like I was in love with her and I started shaming myself for that. I started shaming myself because I didn't want those feelings. I started telling myself that that's not okay, that that's not a good thing, that I should have let go, that it's been three years, and it's been too long, it's been all this stuff. And I, I started kind of like going through the loop of that, like shaming myself for how, how I feel. Like, have you ever done that? Have you ever shamed yourself for doing something? Have you ever told yourself that you shouldn't have been feeling the way from, from what you did? And it's like, for me, when I did that, it was just like looking back now, it's just like, oh, dude, why? 
Like they're just feelings, that just is what it is. The more that I can accept how I feel, what's going on in my world, the more that I can be in alignment with what's really happening and not what I want it to be. Because that's the truth. It's like when I think of Lincoln, it's like when Lincoln spills, let's say he spilled, I used to have that big water filter. He spilled that water filter, I would probably say three or four times. And every time that he spilt it, I didn't get upset because he has already spilt it. That's the thing. So like me shaming myself for what I'm feeling and what I'm experiencing is like me shaming Lincoln for, for knocking over, over the water that was already knocked over. It just, to me, that doesn't make sense. Why would I shame Lincoln for something he's already done? The more that I can accept that, hey, he spilt three, four liters of water all over the floor and it's a mess. Okay, awesome. The more that I can accept that for what it really is, because that's all that's happening, the more that I can be in ease and be in alignment and just clean it up because that's what is happening. And so I was shaming myself for that. I was shaming myself for for having those feelings. And it was like the next couple of days I went through all of this stuff. Like, do I want to be like, it was just crazy, this crazy, 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 crazy loop. And and then I remember, like I talked to a mentor about it. And this, this man has been in my life throughout pretty much the entire breakup three years ago. I met him probably four and a half years ago. So he's been through this whole journey with me. And he was one that I'd sit down with and converse and openly share about everything that I was experiencing. And, and what he said, like, cause I told him, I was like, I have feelings. Like I, I'm, I feel like I love her. And, and he's like, he's like, Ethan, this whole time, ever since you broke up with her and even before to now, you've never stopped loving her. That that's the, the thing that you were saying was that it wasn't working. When you were with her, you would say that it wasn't working. So it was never a problem that you didn't love her. It was a problem that it wasn't working. And when I realized that, I kind of came to the awareness that it's like, I feel like I'm crying right now. I don't even know why. <laughs> this is what, this is like, this is what I've been like for the last week and a half. Like what the heck is going on? I don't know. When he said that, like I gave myself permission to feel what I was feeling. Because I'm not gonna lie, there is a part of me that still loves her. There's a part of me that I believe will forever love her because she played such a big role in my life. Because she she gave me so much. Yes, the relationship was chaotic. Yes, it was traumatic. Yes, there was so much wrong with it. But there was so much there. And throughout the process, I wouldn't be where I am now without her. I wouldn't have Lincoln without her. So in so many ways, I'm going to love her. I'm going to continue to love her. I'm going to continue to grow that more and more and more. And that's the thing is that I don't have to let go of that. Yes, the love is going to look different. And that's the thing. So many times we like break up with someone and we like put these walls up like, oh no, I don't love her. I boo, 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 boo. Put the walls block, throw it out. And there's a lot of times when we can't do that, like in this relationship or in a co-parenting relationship or in a relationship like that. It's like, I will continue to fall in love with her. I'll continue to love her. It's just going to look different. It's just going to look like it's not in an intimate relationship. It's going to look like a co-parenting relationship. It's the same as me loving my sister. It's the same as me loving my mom, me loving my dad, me loving my brother. Those are not intimate relationships. It's the same as me loving my friends. It's not an intimate relationship, but I still say I love you on the daily. Well, maybe not the daily, maybe like the weekly. <laughs> maybe like the every other couple days. But that's what it's gonna look like. And And when that kind of like landed for me and when I began to realize that and sit with that, it was like, wow. Like, wow, how beautiful, how beautiful is it that Lincoln gets to experience that? How beautiful is it that Lincoln gets to experience, just on my side, a father who is, who still loves and cares for his mother deeply and wants the best for her and supports her no matter what she chooses and what she does. Like, how cool, how cool is that? Like that is above and beyond what I ever got. 
And that's what Lincoln gets to experience. And so that's definitely something that I was avoiding talking about because there's still like when, whenever, whenever a human being, whenever a person doesn't want to share something, it's because there's a level of shame associated with it. Whether they're scared of what people are going to think, which is kind of like a layer of shame or they're scared that they're going to be judged. They're scared that they're going to be humiliated. They're scared that they're going to be embarrassed. They're scared that they're going to be rejected. Those are all different levels of shame. So when someone doesn't want to share something, it's because they're a little bit ashamed of it. And I didn't want to share this because I'm a little bit ashamed of it. I care what you think. I do care what you think. If I was sitting here being like, oh no, I don't care what you think. But yet sitting here like taking a couple minutes to get dressed with a nice shirt. Like I care what you think. I appreciate you all. I care about you all. I want you all to be the best versions, the best you possible. And that you that I keep on referring to is like the best you. That is just simply you. That is you trying not to be something, have something, or do something. That is just simply you as you are. That is the best version of you. It's just you. That person who is so beautiful, so humbling, so connected, so in love, so just beautiful. So that's kind of what I wanted to share. I'll talk on later vlogs how work is. I'll talk on all that kind of stuff. I think I'm going to go back to just publishing one video for now and really getting in the habit of doing that once per week. It's most likely going to be on Saturdays. This video is on a Sunday because uh, yesterday I really just was avoiding this again. So today is the day in which I post this. So thank you guys. I just want to say thank you guys for being on this journey with me. Thank you guys for being here with me. There's a beautiful little robin that's just what's that. I wish I could show you guys, but it's a, it's a big one just standing by the the ladder just looking just looking out kind of like what i'm doing looking out in the world they're such beautiful birds anyways thank you guys for being on this journey with me thank you guys for being here thank you guys for being a part of the channel and, and for for watching these videos because i really hope that that in communion in you watching this video with me that that things begin to click for us both because that's all that this is, is this is me sharing and kind of going through my process on what's happening and kind of understanding myself more. And so I, I hope that it does the same for you. And I hope that it inspires you to just be a little bit more you because that you is what we need in this world. So much love, peace, love, grissing, grissings, greasings, grease, peace, love, grease, peace, grease, love and light. Peace, grease, love, and light. Yo, peace, grease, love, and light. Um, have a wonderful day and, and drop a comment down below. What are you grateful for? Today, I'm grateful that I have the chance to share with you guys, that I have the chance to express myself through this medium because I think that in times, it, it definitely has saved my life. And for that, I'm grateful. So drop what you're grateful for. Drop how this video resonated. Drop how this video landed for you. And again, just love. Just one love, man. One love. That's all that there is on this planet. It's just love.